Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Welcome back, everybody. We are live down at the Lane Event Center for the 41st annual KEZI Eugene Boat and Sportsman Show. Got a real good crowd. In fact, it's actually picked up in about the last 45 minutes or so. A lot of folks checking out some of the boats, like the Smoker Craft right here. Uh, enjoying not only that, but I talked to a, a cute little fella a few minutes ago named Connor, who's going to go check out the Condor. Get it, Connor? Condor? Okay, I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But anyway, uh, that is there as well as the Birdman was in Vanita earlier today. And uh, some of the uh, stuff from the Howe and Howe Brothers Technologies, man, they've got some amazing utility vehicles as well. All sorts of things, including beef jerky and you name it, it is here. And it's going to be here until 9 o'clock tonight. Oh, doors open again tomorrow morning at 9, go through 8 p.m., and then Sunday morning through about 2 p.m. So let's check out the forecast if you're headed on out and about tonight and the rest of the weekend. Should be looking fine. We'll see the temperatures generally sitting uh, and the cooler side tonight. We're going to look at overnight lows dipping down into the 30s right now. Storm Tracker 9 is pretty quiet. Zoom in a little closer and give you a better snapshot of what we're dealing with there. And it's just not a whole lot of cloud cover and not a whole lot of showers and uh, rain and certainly snow as well. Not so good for some of the central Cascade uh, ski resorts, Bachelor, Hoodoo, for example. But uh, Ski Bowl open tonight. It will be open this weekend as well. Temperatures now already down to 40 degrees in Cottage Grove. We're sitting at 29 out in Sun River. It'll be another chilly night out in Central Oregon, and I'm going to keep us just at or around freezing. And get this, as I mentioned before we went to break, we could be looking at afternoon highs struggling to get into the mid-30s by this time next week. I'll tell you why that is in a second. Right now, though, high pressure is starting to slowly ooze in as well with the jet stream moving generally from west to east. We've got a big storm out there in the Central Pacific, but that is actually going to head south move into Northern California, bring them much needed rain. Watch the storm cast over the next 36 hours as that gets closer. There is a chance that we could get some light showers, I think overnight Saturday and Sunday. Let's say anywhere from uh, south of Florence down towards Bandon, possibly Gold uh, Beach, certainly uh, Brookings, Coos Bay, North Bend, Reedsport. I do think you might see some showers uh, late Saturday night into Sunday. Otherwise, everybody else will just be looking they had a bit of an increase in cloud cover. So here's how it breaks down. We'll see the few leftover showers tonight drying out this weekend. Snow lines are going to remain down around 1,000 feet. We've got a little disturbance that could swing through on Monday, bringing some uh, possible dusting to some of the Lane County foothills around the Eugene Springfield area as well. Otherwise, really starting to cool off as we get into next week. Right now, the coast, you can see partly sunny skies. We'll see the temperatures there right around 50 degrees for tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me, as we go to the Umpqua Basin, we'll see upper 40s. Yeah, morning clouds, partly sunny skies by the afternoon there. Looking into the Cascades, freezing levels jumping back up to around 4,000 feet, mostly sunny skies with highs right around freezing or so. And into the mid-30s, mostly sunny and cool for Central Oregon. I think uh, we're going to be a little hard-pressed to get some sunshine in the forecast for us there in the valley as we go to tomorrow. Now the coast, we'll see the temperatures there slowly start to fall back. And in fact, we could be looking at the coast dipping down into the 40s for highs and overnight lows, getting some uh, frosty conditions in the low 30s as we get into the weekend. Now the Umpqua Basin also will be looking at a possibility for some frost and possibly freezing fog as we get in towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's check out what we've got in the mountains. Just a quick chance for some snow showers on Monday. Otherwise, by the time we get into the week, it slows down. And finally, in the valley, we've got temperatures uh, sitting in the 40s for the next couple of days. And look at that, mid-30s for highs by Thursday and Friday. Uh, Matt Renee, that's not going to allow you to take out uh, what I think looks good on me is this nice-looking smoker craft here. Hang on a second, guys. Let's, let's try this. Does that look good? <laughs> yeah. It does this look me, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't try to drive that back to the studio. <laughs> All right, Justin. Well, I'm on the four beat out all the